This is a forklift battery, like a pure electric forklift. more. Okay, okay. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. That is crazy. <laughs> Getting it off is going to be a bit of a pain. We're going to have to try to pull it back or lift it over the wall, which I don't think we can do. So I'll update you in a bit. It's a monster battery. I can't even, I think I couldn't even tip it over if I wanted to. It doesn't look that heavy, but it's a monster. So I'm gonna grab some more stuff. So stuff over here I gotta grab, so I'll grab some. Maybe take these tires off and then I'll update you in a little bit. I had to park the truck here. Park it like this so I can try to get squeeze it into three spots instead of four. If I park straight, it takes four spots to park like this when it takes up three. So this is the parking lot of the building that I live in. So I had to keep it here overnight because I missed the scrapyard. jackknifed as far as it can go so this is other stuff I was talking about there's an aluminum copper rad there's two more aluminum copper rads there one small one under there uh, there's one pure stainless steel rad that's like this but it's all stainless steel this piece here the white piece is Stainless steel on the inside and steel on the outside, I think. 
So it's probably dirty stainless. So I'm gonna see what they'll give us for dirty stainless. If they pay a decent price, there's a little bit more there. A couple more pieces. Just one piece of wire right here. And the rest is just steel. These two car tires I already had in there. Found them on the side of the road. So I'm just gonna pull them off and scrap them. This is a forklift battery, like a pure electric forklift. It's just one of the like stackers or order picker type ones so, though. So this is realistically only like half of the weight of a normal one. Standing up, it's almost at my waist. I cut these copper wires off because there's no point in selling it on there. This is actually a steel case all the way around it. And each one, like that's a battery, like this rectangle, and it should pull right out. And it's as long as the thing is, like as tall as that thing is. So each one should pull out, It'll be a long skinny battery. And then you could sell it as a battery instead of a steel case battery. But for me, it doesn't make much difference on pricing. So it's much better just to sell it with the steel case. But if you couldn't move it, you could potentially pull these out. I've seen before one guy pulling them out. They're not too easy to get out. And I'm not exactly sure how they come out. Like how to get it loose. I know they just slide upwards, but how do you break it loose at all? If you know how to break it loose so you can pull the battery up, definitely let me know in the comment section. Because if I get another one of these, I'll probably try to take it apart myself. I might even try to take the actual batteries apart to get clean lead. I'm not sure yet, so. Pretty sure it's 1656 pounds. Should say it on there somewhere. I think right here. Yeah. 1656. So we'll see how accurate that is once I actually bring it into the scrapyard. So I'll show you the receipt so you can see how much the thing weighs. Other than that, thanks for watching. Let me know if you know how to take those batteries apart. Just pulled in here, back to where I store my trailer, so I can unload the trailer. There's the total. 829.13. The steel case battery, which ended up being 1640. Well, 1,636. So, I think that's like 20 pounds off what it actually was supposed to be. So probably lost 20 pounds in water. So, you're supposed to keep refilling them with distilled water. That's still 523.50 for the one battery. The rest of the stuff was stuff that he gave me. Other than this uh, 43 pounds of bare bright copper. 310 a pound. I had that one bin that I threw in the truck. Threw it in afterwards just to try to get a couple more dollars added to the pile. So I'm gonna split all of it with him other than the bare bright copper. I'm gonna keep that for myself. So 830 minus 13330 and then split that in half. I'll give him his half and I'll keep half for myself. So that's a pretty good, pretty good day. Got those rims still. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Just gonna unload this stuff, take these pieces of wood out, these bins. 
put the trailer back over here. I'm gonna put this back in the truck. This is just like a steel table that I found. I'm gonna cut it apart and use it for just the steel. Some good like two by two square tubing. Some nice angle iron. A couple of sheets of pretty good thickness steel. So take it all apart. I'm gonna keep it to use for some projects. And I'm gonna throw these light poles back in the truck too. I had them in the truck along with that tape. I had that and those poles and a couple more pieces of steel in the truck just to try to keep some weight so I don't get stuck in this snow because it's a two-wheel drive truck it gets stuck super easy even though I got some decent snow tires on here and it's a complete mess up here so can't make it up this hill to get up here without at least like 500 pounds or more in the back of this truck otherwise I won't even make it up this hill so thanks for watching see if we get any more good scrap in the near future I'll try to keep posting videos more often so see you guys next time thanks for watching closes at 6 p.m. Oh shit. Scrap air closes at 6 p.m. And it's 6 p.m. right now. I'm still about, I don't know, four or five minutes away. So I'm rushing there. Hopefully they're still there when I get there. And if they are, hopefully they can still pay me. And I don't have to come back tomorrow to get paid. battery actually came from the same guy that gave me the trailer I've taken a couple loads from him since that since that trailer that I didn't show that were just small like shred loads that he wanted me to split the money on most of them are just like 70 80 dollar loads so it's, it's barely worth my time to do it like I only get 40 bucks half of it so minus my gas it's barely worth my time but he had this forklift battery and he said if I can move it then I can scrap it and keep half the money. So I called around, made sure to get the best price I could get. These guys said they'll give me 32 cents a pound for a steel cased forklift battery. That's better than what most scrap yards are paying just for a standard battery like a normal car battery. So, prices are down a bit right now, otherwise, like before, prices were all the way up to like 40 cents on the car batteries, but right now it's only 33 cents. Some scrap yards, like another scrap yard I go to, they said they only pay 25 cents a pound for a standard car battery, not even a steel cased one, so 32 cents is pretty good just about at the scrapyard so I'll take a quick video at the scrapyard try to show you the battery again hopefully there's a decent light there once I get paid too I'll show you the receipt so you can see how much weight it actually is it says on the battery that it's uh, 1656 pounds so we'll see how accurate that is probably lost some of the liquid inside it and I didn't fill it up. I don't know if I should have. But this is what I always like to see. Pull into the scrap yard and already gone. Shit! I guess I'm bringing it home. The only benefit of that is that when I get home I'll store it for a night and I can take another video in the morning so you can see what else I what else I got. I still got a bunch of other stuff in here too. A bunch of steel, a bunch of aluminum copper rads. That's a big fat aluminum copper rad. I cut the ends off right at his house with the saw so can't 
see shit in the dark, but there it is. So, I'm gonna go store a trailer tomorrow morning. I'll show you a better shot of this so you can see what it looks like. Kinda sucks, but it is what it is, cause I'm the idiot that left it to 20 minutes. It was 20 minutes until the time this place closed and I was still at this guy's house, so. I don't really mind. I'm gonna keep it. Maybe I'll keep it at my buddy's house here. My buddy lives like five minutes down the street from the scrapyard, so. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated. Let you see the pricing and the weight.